Slack attack. But yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, if you've been following this walkthrough before the end of this video, you are going to be one-shotting zombies. One shot. One hit, one kill. Let's do it. And first of all, we're going to take care of take care of a couple of safe zones and I just jammed up some Nestle's quick so we can speed on down there. This by the way is making the journey to Gazi's place which is part of the... <laughs> yeah, I just had to do a little zombie leg breaking on the way. Yeah, it's part of the Mother's Day quest. Mother's Day quest. And we will be doing that. Okay, so here's the first safe zone. Best thing to do is just whip right in and shut the door right away so that no more zombies come in, alright? And just get to killing. <laughs> I didn't plan that, but it's nice the way it worked out. One more guy here. That was meant to be a leg breaker, but Mr. Fumblefinger screwed it up. And all clear. And I hear a survivor over there. So after activating the safe zone, I took a good look around for him, but I couldn't find him, so I'm just going to edit this part out because I was just looking all over the, the place and I couldn't find him. So, sorry, <laughs> Survivor, but uh, life's too short, <laughs> especially for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you, uh, sometimes when you do leg breaker, it's an instant kill on some of these low-level zombies. Now, before you take off, make sure you loot these two first aid kits here in the garage. Garages, rather. Get some guys. And let's jam on down to the second safe zone. I don't know what what happened there, but uh, somebody took a little misstep. <laughs> yeah, and on the way, if we're gonna find an electrical trap, not that one, another one further on down, which we can use to zap a crap ton of bad guys right down this way. And we'll want to do this because there's a police van in the area that you definitely want to lose. So the same deal here, throw some firecrackers to get them distracted so that you can throw the switch in peace. And yeah, it's not a beautiful sight. <laughs> This always happens. This always happens when I'm admiring the scenery. Some cheeky zombie runs up and takes a chunk out of my cheek. So she goes into the uh, electrified pool. A little bit of a royal asking, royal ass kicking for her. Yeah, as you're watching me play, if you see me like just jerking around all the time, like always looking behind my face like that, see? You see me doing that, there's a method to my madness. These zombies, they're so damn sneaky, you know? They appear to move so slowly, but they somehow manage to like sneak up on you all the time. So yeah, that's just uh... a kind of a uh... A paranoid strategy that I developed to stay alive and dying late. And yeah, you should develop that strategy too. Paranoia. Paranoia. Yeah. And a little bit of pulsating zombie booby there. I don't know what's going on there, but. Uh, <laughs> There's an instant kill leg breaker.
Check that out, I got like three stuns in a row. I swear, if it, <laughs> that was pretty funny too. If there was an option to disable stun, I would. I can't stand that. I, I don't. This one more gripe I have about the game. That is not to imply that I have many gripes about the game. Because they don't. I just have a few. And that's one of them. The whole stun thing is just. Uh, I don't know. Often I'll just rush up to the zombie, just let me do it there. To bait them into to taking a swipe at me so I can grapple them. Sometimes I pay the price a little bit, you know, they take a swipe. They manage to get their swipe in before I can grapple them, but uh, yeah, it's worth it just to get things moving along. So you can see my power XP bar, the one on the right there at the top of the white bar. It's pretty close to Matt to uh, leveling up. And that will be up to level 6. Alright, so we have cleared the area and we can loot, or rather lockpick in peace. And I didn't really get it that fast. Um, this is something I'm going to be doing from now on. It's just skipping ahead to when I successfully pick the lock. We'll officially announce that later on. And we got a weapon upgrade, the knight. So now I have three upgrades. Let's go do the safe zone. And I want to pound back some stamina juice or stamina booster. In this safe zone is a viral. Always. Watch how he dodges my knife attacks. Check this out. See that? So, any slower weapon. And yeah, I have no problems. So everybody gets a good face slashing. Let's go pop some fuses in the fuse box and unlock the safe zone. Now I'm just going to mess around in my inventory and the player stash and that's what I ended up having left. Okay, everything else is in the player stash, all right? So I just skipped over that too. So it's to keep things moving along. Crafting some more stamina boosters. Hey, how about we make a make up a funny name for stamina boosters? Post a comment, okay? If I like your name, I'll start using it for the rest of the walkthrough, okay? Right now I'm calling the speed boosters Nestle's Quick. I was trying to think of an, you know, an odd or a funny name for stamina boosters. I was thinking something to do with roids, steroids, something like that. Anyways, post a comment, and if I like your name for stamina booster, I will start using it for the rest of the walkthrough, okay? So same deal here, I'm going to use, use a short, simple knife, and I'm on the stamina booster, so I'm never going to run out of stamina. Getting in lots of hits to rapid level my power level, because I'm close to leveling up. And once we get to power level 6, we'll get a very important skill.
can hear a zombie behind here. There he is right there. Let's go do the drop and flop on him. <laughs> as much as I played this game, I keep saying this, but I never get sick of splattering zombies' heads. And the more ridiculous the weapon, the better, you know? Like a gas pipe or a table leg or whatever, it's just a... <laughs> yeah, the humor in this game is uh... I just purposely let him stand up so I can, you know? <laughs> Trying to stand up? So there we go. Pretty close to level six. Okay, we just need a few more. So Gazi's place is just over that hill there. But before heading on down to Gazi's place, let's uh, go zombie hunting and get power level up to level six. So I know there's a few more over this way. simple knife. Maybe because I'm just enjoying the French wrench too much. Here we go. So power level 6. We will now be eligible, eligible to get power attack. Alright? Heavy duty single handed weapon attack. Okay, you can charge it up and let fly. Now, we, now, that, now that we've got power attack Let's craft, or rather mod, the police baton with the Zazi Galka mod, which will give it uh, level two fire, I believe. Level two fire and also get it a, give it a nine damage boost. And now, charging up a power attack with this weapon, we can one-shot zombies. That wasn't a good example there, but all the rest that I do are gonna be one-shotters. Check this out, okay? One shot, aim for the head, load it up, and... Whammo Frisbee. How do you do the power attack? Hold down the attack button and release when you want to attack. See, there's another one shot. Third one shot. Four. Five. <laughs> Six. Now what I'm doing, it takes a bit of timing to do this, eh? To avoid having them lunge and bite you. There's seven in a row. Seven one shots in a row. What I do is I load up the power attack, then I move towards the zombie, and I release the power attack as I'm moving forward. So that, you know, to time it just right, so that, you know, this avoids the zombie lunging at you in the middle of your power attack. So there you go. Your one shot police baton. <laughs> yeah, I bet you didn't think you'd be one-shotting zombies this early in the game. EXP caliber sword? EXP caliber sword? I don't need no stinking EXP caliber sword! <laughs> I got me a police baton! All right, so let's get on down to Gazzy's. So I drank some Nestle's quick, and Gazzy's just over this way. And this will kick off the Mother's Day's quest. Mother's Day quest, rather. Over this fence, and then run along these rocks here. If you go all the way to the end, you'll find a spot where you can jump down into some blue bags. Save a lot of time. It's right around here. There it is. Whee! 
don't miss. <laughs> and that's it. Let's go speak to Gazi. You have to check one of three doors. It's the second door. All right, if you come this way. If mama ain't happy, nobody happy. So you better make mama happy. Gazi. Me too. We have the same name. Are you from the video store? No, my name's Crane. Crane? Crane rhymes with train and brain and sane and grain and rain and plane and the other kind of plane and and. But can I come in? No, no, it's impossible, impossible. This is my special day with mom. It's Mother's Day, and it's the most important day of the whole world. Are you from the video store? W why do you keep asking me that? Uh, because you're supposed to bring my movie about me. It's called Charlie, and it's all about me and how smart I am. Look, Gazi, if I bring you your movie, will you let me come in? Sure. Then you could watch with us. It is Mother's Day, and if Mama ain't happy, Nobody happy. Oh, and, and she also wants chocolate. Mama wants chocolate. No, 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 wait a minute, that's too much. Don't argue with Gozi. It doesn't work. That, that's what the drugstore people say. And he's just begging for one of these. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have to go get a box of chocolates and a videotape for mother. <laughs> And that's it for this video. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old Slackster a thumbs up. And I'm out of here. See you next video for the Mother's Day quest.